Following the collapse of the Key Bridge, how comfortable are you about the safety of the Bay Bridge? The Bay Bridge over the Chesapeake. With the summer travel season right around the corner, many of us will be heading across that bridge to the eastern shore and to Delaware and Maryland beaches. Our transportation reporter Adam Tuss is at the bridge tonight and tells us safety upgrades could be coming. Yeah, well, you know, just the sight of the Bay Bridge here across the Chesapeake, that is enough to make some drivers grip the wheel a little tighter, right? A lot of people have a hard time driving across this four-mile-long bridge. But following the collapse of the Key Bridge up in Baltimore, News 4 has confirmed Maryland transportation leaders, they're going to be taking a look at better safety protections for this bridge. Well, before the collapse of the Key Bridge, most of us wouldn't think twice about this site. A massive ship going right under the Bay Bridge. But in an instant, everything changed. And now safety is top of mind for the Bay Bridge. We're working uh, on looking at, at that, you know, in terms of uh, the, the safety and the protection of the piers. Joe McAndrew is the Assistant Maryland Transportation Secretary. If and when the National Transportation Safety Board makes recommendations following the investigation of the Key Bridge collapse, he says the state will be listening closely. At the end of the day, it is safe for folks to continue to travel across it. We're going to be working with our partners uh, at the federal level uh, that are doing an investigation of, of what happened at the, at the Key Bridge. But it is safe, and we would encourage people to continue to go and enjoy the Eastern Shore as much as possible. Now, there's been a lot of talk about so-called dolphins, those protective barriers that could redirect a ship from hitting the support piers of a bridge. In other parts of the country, those protections are becoming much more common, especially with newer bridges. Bridges. In contrast, the Bay Bridge is now more than 70 years old. It has so-called fenders to protect the piers, but no dolphins. Here at Sandy Point State Park next to the Bay Bridge, Luis Otero and Savannah Wheelis are reminded of the Key Bridge collapse. I'm terrified of bridges, so honestly it just makes me not want to go under or on bridges anymore. <laughs> Especially now that we've seen the bridge fall, it's like, eh, would it happen to this one? Fisherman Zeno says he hopes the state keeps this bridge itself in good shape. I would say definitely more uh, maintenance. Yeah, for sure maintenance, keeping up with that. As summer travel heats up, so too are the thoughts about better bridge safety along the bay. At the Bay Bridge, Adam Tuss, News 4. Meanwhile, the NTSB says if it finds any urgent safety recommendations that need to be made following the bridge collapse, it will do so immediately.